Yeah, yeah. But um, hey guys, I'm here at Olympic Village, and hello. Hey. Good. I, I can't really hear you. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, I think now it's better. Can you hear me now? Hear me now? Yes. Oh, awesome. 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 Let me, let me Is it live? Yes, it's live. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can. Awesome. Good. So let, let's talk about the Olympic thing. Yes. So you were saying that um, you you watching the the triathlon tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, so it's morning your time. So yeah, it should happen in a couple hours uh, for the men. So it's gonna happen. Yeah. This this morning in Tokyo and this afternoon in the u.s and awesome. uh, so uh, the olympic triathlon is a, a 1500 meter swim uh-huh and for for us swimmers that's easy distance compared to some people who can't really swim in triathlon sure <laughs> and then it's a 40 kilometer bike so that's uh -huh. around 25 miles and then a 10 10 kilometers run so that's 6.2 miles and usually they finish around one hour 45 minutes one hour 40 minutes yeah wow now um it's the same it, it, that's the same triathlons that you that you run to the, the so i did a half iron man which is double the distance of that and then um, I did do a triathlon at altitude at 7,000 feet and I finished in two hours, two minutes. So uh -huh. yeah, that was pretty good. That was my first Olympic distance triathlon. Uh, yeah. That's the one that you did up in uh, Utah? No, was it Utah? Uh, so the Utah was the half Ironman. Oh, okay. and the, I did one in Flagstaff in Arizona. At okay. seven thousand feet elevation, so I'm pretty, and I I think I like the Olympic distance more. So if I go that Olympic route, then mm -hmm. uh, it's possible Olympic in twenty twenty four. I hope so. Yeah. You know. Now yeah. <laughs> that you you, comp you compete for Canada, no? I so right now I can have a choice between Canada and U.S. Okay. But I, I'm not at that point at that level yet to decide. Okay. Since I only done one try the first Olympic distance, so um, I have a my coach is in Texas and uh, she virtually trains me. Uh, I do all my swim workouts. I I pull some of your sets in the past mm -hmm. and uh, modify some sets a little, make it distance oriented freestyle. Sure. So I have all the swim on my own, and then she just gives me the bike and run workouts. Is is it hard to train like that? Uh, it's actually very efficient. Um, uh -huh. The first like two weeks, it was kind of an adjusting period. Um, but then, for me, I I love to read articles, watch videos of like techniques about biking, running, and I did when I was swimming. So I, I wanted to, to learn more and I asked questions. She's, I can call her anytime, text her. And uh, yeah, she's very flexible, answers my okay. questions and uh, I'm improving it every day and hopefully uh, more races under my belt. Well, good. Yeah. And, and then 
uh, normally they have uh, Olympic trials the, the same way that they have for swimming trials, or, you, or it's a little bit different. You can you can qualify in different competitions. Uh, so for tr how triathlon works, you it's like uh, one year out from the Olympics, you compete in different uh, international races in the in the World Cup, and then you have to place like top ten in that. So it's all the country. It's like a, a mini world championship, and uh, you have to place. And then the country uh, will say, if there's like five people who place top ten in these events, uh -huh. then they have to choose three. Let's say choose three and uh, let go of the other two. But if someone doesn't place top ten, they're they're not qualified regardless. So that's why in the U.S. Um, Three men were allowed to go to the Olympics for uh -huh. triathlon, but only two went because those two placed in those World Cup series, and uh, no, um, only two Americans placed like the top ten or something, and uh, that was it. So they can only get those two. So it's kind of similar to the A cut, B cut in swimming, um, but you place it in the the World Cup series. The year leading out to the Olympics, the years and months leading wow. up. Yes. Well, you have three years, two years to to do it, and yeah. then one year to qualify. Yeah. So that's uh that's the Olympic route, and then there's also the half Ironman, Ironman, uh, which there's no Olympics for that, unfortunately, okay. but that could, you know, a potential going pro professional and in that distance or the Olympic distance, which is more popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. So how come uh, you decided to do triathlons? Uh, so I still love swimming, but I didn't want to swim that much. Uh, so triathlon was kind of perfect since I had a swimming background. And uh, during COVID last year, uh, I was finishing up my senior year, second semester at home uh -huh. and all the gyms were closed. So I started running and biking around my neighborhood and I really liked it. Um, so I was like, okay, let's, uh, let's do triathlon. And uh, I started getting serious last fall when uh, I got my coach and uh, I started training with her and uh i told her one day i want to go professional in triathlon nice yeah good and how is the how's the youtube thing going uh they're good so i have four youtube channels currently and all four are monetized and nice. uh, so one is at two hundred thousand subscribers where i do my rubik's cube stuff Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the second one is that just past a hundred thousand subscribers i post all my tiktoks highlights so short short videos on there uh the third is my triathlon blog it used to be my i go uh, go around the team swim team and uh just do some vlogs from time to time uh -huh. and then the fourth one i do uh, stocks market investment investing uh, but I haven't really done much in that because it's it's kind of hard to manage all all four. Oh, I bet. I bet. You know, I, I have one and I only have 2,000 subscribers. But <laughs> uh, 2,000 subscribers. But uh, I, uh, you know, oh, it's, hard to, it's hard to manage it. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, all the editing, preparing, uh, sure. the video. Yeah, but... Um, uh, you know, you kind of learn from how to make the video, how to make like the cool layout you have right now. And then once you yeah. know it, then it's, it's so much easier to keep making more videos about that. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, like the videos I'm making from here, from the, the Olympics, uh, I do, I, I film them during the day and then at night it takes me maybe half hour to put them together. Uh -huh. I, I, I can upload them so uh -huh. yeah it's not it's not difficult at all yeah yeah 
What, but, what, um, have your, what? What have your um, What's your favorite thing about Tokyo so far? Well, we cannot get out of the village, so there's not much, you know, uh, of Tokyo. The, it seems like when we go to the when we go to the pool, most mm -hmm. of the days, the Tokyo seems very deserted. Like if people don't want to be in the streets. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, kind of like one of those movies where there was an apocalypse and there's nobody in the streets. Every once in a while, somebody's coming out to wave at us. But mm -hmm. but so far, I like it a lot. Uh, you know, um, the village is nice. You know, it's very, um, I don't know, friendly. And, uh, you know, when the, when the sun is down, or when you can walk on in the shade, it's very breezy, so it's very nice. Huh. You know? So the food is very repetitive, Oof. but it's good, the, the, you know, good quality. But it's always every day has they have the same food, so you have to be smart about one day eating from one side and another day from the other side. Uh -huh. but, but overall, it's been a good experience. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Probably uh, so a lot different than the uh, previous Olympics because of spectators. Yeah, and I, maybe not it not fans not coming up to people and getting autographs as much. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, there's no there's no interaction with fans whatsoever. Yeah. Zero zero. I haven't seen anybody signing an autograph. Uh huh. No. no. <laughs> But I, I guess the good thing is that not having the spectators means that we, the swimmers and the coaches, can watch the, the competition from the, from the stands. Because in the past, there was only like a very small area. And uh -huh. You had to go and reserve a place and the big teams would take all the seats and you had to fight with people to be able to have a seat and, and watch the, the, the meet. Now we have the whole pool. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's kind of nice yeah. what uh what are some pinnacle racing members team uh we racing have, yeah we have so far we had three three pinnacle racing people swimming uh we had farida osman in the hand fly the poor, poor girl didn't do very well um mm -hmm. i don't know what happened but it happens you know She's been 57-8 uh, this season. Then with that, she would have been in the semifinal. And she was 58-6. But she's done that maybe six times this year, seven times in season. So it was kind of disappointing uh, for her. And then we had this morning, no, this afternoon tonight, we had uh, Crystal Lara. That she's, she was the first year that she's with us. And she swims for uh, Republic of Dominican, and uh, she swam the Hannah Backstroke. Uh, also, didn't swim at best time, but she was happy because uh, she was off the out of the water for seven seven months, mm -hmm. and you know she just she feels that she's gaining shape now, and you know she was happy that, to represent her country. And then we had Santo Condorelli with Italy uh, swimming the four hundred relay. Mm -hmm. the, they they broke the national record and they see the first going into the finals, so so it's pretty exciting for him. You know, he was he was in the Canadian team at the yeah. last Olympics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, he's you know he's a mercenary like I am. Uh -huh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> But, but yeah, it's exciting. Tomorrow we have uh, Antani Ivanov, your teammate. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to swim the 200 butterfly. He's very yeah. excited. And then the, the next day we have Anton McKee swimming the 200 breaststroke. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joseph Schooling swimming uh, the, the 200, uh, no, the 100 freestyle. And then, yeah, the day after we have the hundred fly with we have four swimmers we have joseph school in santo conorelli and then two hockeys with antani vanoff and, 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 and 
Yeah. The young Benjamin. Yes. Yeah. He's funny. I, mean, I, I don't think I've ever met Yusuf in person. Uh huh. Um, but oh, I yes. did chat with him on Instagram sometime. Um, but yeah, I did see his 100 Fly in, in Mission Viejo, California, uh, uh -huh. the, the video. And yeah, he's, he's his stroke looks good. Oh, yeah. He's, he's really good. Yeah. And then ACC champion, too. Yeah. He's the <laughs> fastest. He's the fastest freshman ever in the history of the NCAs in short push yards. Oh, wow. And, and he's the third fastest ever overall. Uh -huh. That's not bad. Yes. <laughs> wow. It's pretty good. You know, I think I think next year we could have this year we had two guys at 44 in the Hannah Fly. I think next year we could have one or maybe two at 43 Santa Fly. And then a couple more in 44s. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is quick moving. Yeah. And I think I think I'm gonna jinx. I, I don't know if I'll jinx ourselves, but we could have uh, six guys splitting 41 in the hundred freestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a couple of people that nobody knows they're coming. But, uh, they're fast. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, you you are building a a good team there. <laughs> well, it's 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 all it's Albert and JC. They're the recruiters. I'm just I'm just sitting here like uh, get, taking all the credit. Uh, and uh, Albert I, is here with you too, right? Yeah, Albert uh, is here with Iceland. Iceland, yeah. and, and I'm here with Singapore. Oh, okay. So, so we have uh, two people, two swimmers from Egypt, one swimmer from Iceland. One swimmer from Bulgaria, one swimmer from the Republic of the Dominican, mm -hmm. and then uh, what else do we have? One from Italy, and so a total of seven people. So, uh -huh. wow. <laughs> you know, in, in Paris, we're going to have a triathlon. Oh, well, and also Ian Ho is an alum, but he's. Oh, yeah, he yeah, yes. Yeah, he, you, you know, he was your teammate for a couple of years. I, yeah, I, I saw that 21 uh, when Nine, he made. Yeah, 2197. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, so when, when I, you said it, you're going back tomorrow to. Yeah, to Arizona. So, yeah. And how, you drive or you fly or. I I flew this time. I usually drive, but so this is pretty interesting. When I drive from the Phoenix area to the LA area and back, uh -huh. the round trip for just gas is one hundred fifty dollars. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. This, this time the flight was eighty five dollars, including all the taxes and fees. Round trip. It's no brainer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 85 bucks that's pretty cheap <laughs> yeah. and then if you drive it's a six hour drive but if you fly it's less than an hour and i'm less than 10 minutes away from the airport at nice. my place and here as well mm -hmm. so i had to fly <laughs> so from now on you're gonna fly because you can fly twice two times for the price of one drive Yes, yes. Unless I have to bring my bike, then I probably would have to drive here so I can fit sure. my bike in my, my minivan. But I got a bike, like a three and a half hour bike yesterday before my flight. And then today I had, I just ran a half marathon. Jeez. <laughs> That's th what's 13 miles. 13.1 miles. Yep. Oh. Yes, it was. Well, it was an easy, easy run. Oh, I bet. Easy, long run. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to, to, to run 30 miles? 
uh, one hour and 40 minutes. So that's around a seven minute 45 per mile pace. I don't have much of a clue. <laughs> oh, here, 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 here we have this guy, the Rubik's. Rubik's World. World. Please give me a shout out. <laughs> shout out. Shout out. <laughs> shout out, Rubik's World. Hello. Thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks for joining. I'm not sure how many people we have joined in. I think we only have, no, we don't have that many. But we have this guy, Cappy D. Uh, yeah, Cappy, yes. Uh, you know him? Yes, I do. Uh, and, and then Rajan, Rajan. Oh, yeah, uh, his name Ryan. Ryan? Yeah. And then Cappy, Cappy, Ryan, and then just another cubing channel. <laughs> uh -huh. so, you have some Rubik's Cube people here. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna make one day a video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna buy one of those uh, cubes that you have. Uh, yeah. A link. Yeah. And then I'm gonna. Go, wah, 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 wah. I'm gonna you practice did, a lot. You did solve it at ACCs. I know, I know, but it, it's it's a random thing, you know, because I remember how to do it, but sometimes I forget a couple of the steps. But I will practice, and I'm gonna yeah. surprise you one day. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, when I was at, at Bolts, I used to have uh, the 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 cube with me all the time in my office, and sometimes I would take it to the trips, and I try to teach the kids how to how to do it. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. I think it's I think it's a good exercise for the brain. I call yes. it gymnastic, gymnastics for the brain. Yeah. So what what's the plan for you today over there? Uh so I just did a run. I think I might swim or bike a little. Um uh, get on a, a beach bike and just go easy. And then 30 minutes of workout just um prehab, making sure I don't get injured. So, yeah. Now, when, when, uh, how many hours a day are you practicing right now? Eight hours, six hours, seven? Uh, it depends. Saturday and Sunday is usually three to five hours a day. But I, I do try to go over 20 hours a week of workouts. Oh, okay. So, like swimming, no? Yeah, yeah. Like swimming. So, so I guess we overtrain in swimming because if in triathlons, you have so much more distance than swimming. And we train 20 hours a week for swimming. You should yeah, be training 60 hours a week. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting because we, yeah, we did do 20, 20 hours and you're swimming 100 breaststroke, 200 breaststroke, 200 IM. Sure. And that's, that's uh, what, like less than six minutes of racing. Well, and, and then there's prelim finals, but you're just training for like three minutes of racing or even a 50 freestyle for some people and a hundred freestyle. And uh, in triathlons, we, yeah, we do cover a, a lot more distance, but we train the same amount of hours, I guess. Wow. <laughs> now, what do you like better, swimming or triathlon? Uh, I think triathlons. Nice. I, I love uh, getting on the bike and just going outside, biking 70 miles, 60 miles. You can go up to a lot of places. And it's when you're in a group, you have a lot of fun. And yeah, 60, 70 miles on a bike can take you places. Nature. Um, I bet. Exploring. And even if you visit a new a different city you can always go for a run let's say eight to ten miles and you can still look look at all the beautiful attraction and run in a city and get that tourist experience while working out in, in some ways nice so so how many miles do you do uh biking uh, and then running a week uh biking i'd say 150 miles a week running 30 to 40 miles a week 
And then as of swimming, I'm doing 16,000 yards a week. That's which not is, a lot. <laughs> it's enough, enough to um, maintain it. Mm -hmm. But I think I should do a little more and uh, be the fastest swimmer at, at World Championships. <laughs> And then you can be that leg of a, uh, because you said that they have relays, triathlon yeah. relays. Relays, yes. I was, uh, yeah, I was actually going to, someone asked me to swim the, uh, the swim part of the relay today. There's a, a half Ironman in Oregon and Salem going on right now. Uh -huh. So I said no, because it's a, uh, I mean the the flight, the accommodation was too expensive. Last minute, and it was like last minute. Um, but there was a really good biker and a collegiate Division One runner. Uh huh. So we could have won, but um, yeah, I, I didn't go this this weekend. <laughs> no, it's okay. But one day, yeah. one day I'll go. True. Yeah. So I can go. I, I can go to Vegas and better than you. What? I can go to oh. Las Vegas and, and put a bet on you. Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, no, I can't. <laughs> Maybe one day we get a. One day there'll be gambling for triathlon. Uh huh. My, one of my goals as a ambassador of the sport is bring more people into this into triathlon. Good. S swimming, cycling, and running. Well, you know, you, you are very passionate about swimming. And if you like triathlons more than swimming, that means that it's a very good thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I couldn't do triathlons. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't. There's no way. Yeah, the, I, I think I have a feeling you, you would love the bike if you not just bike around, enjoy mm -hmm. the wind breathing. But as of like the run, it might be a little hard because running, you have to be careful because you, you can really get injured if you run too much. Sure. But wow. you can bike as long as you want. You'll just be sore. Mm -hmm. Well, I have uh, the, the parts down there, they get numb when I bike. Ah, uh, so. It's, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, so that's a difference. A different seat would help a lot well i tried different when i was in arizona i used to bike to the pool uh -huh. so I, I probably bought three or four different seats uh -huh. like I, I went to because you know i had a bike and everybody bike everywhere so uh they wouldn't they didn't work i don't know if it's the way you know i sit or maybe the way i i pedal uh -huh. but, uh, was it it wasn't good <laughs> but you know when i was in spain working for this company uh the owner of the company used to have a, a professional and an amateur cycling team uh, so that he had all these bikes in his uh, warehouse so a couple of the times a couple of the sundays i went with them and i remember i think the first sunday was a group of bikers of cyclists and i think I don't know if I did 50 kilometers or something. It was horrible. It was like, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> and, and it's in the, in the north of Spain and some of the, the, the ports or the, the roads were so steep. And like, uh -huh. uh, 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 <laughs> not a good experience. <laughs> oh my. It, it, it's like if I make you do 10, 400 fly breathing, <laughs> Uh, two two breaths per twenty five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like it. Uh, well, Simon, I'm 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 gonna go because it's one thirty here. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna go to take a nap. Okay. And I'll wake up and tomorrow is a big day for the hockeys. And yes. Tanya Ivanov, two hundred butterfly. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get this, and it was awesome chatting with you. And just keep up the good work. We're so proud of you. You know, like you're such an example for these hockeys. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, 
All right. Thanks. Keep us updated with uh, your YouTube videos, your Instagram stories, Instagram posts. Yeah, let us know. Thanks, man. All right. Have a good yeah. night. Have a Bye. good night. Give, give my regards to the family. Yes. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>